Hello, my name is Paul Schreier, and I'm a product marketing manager for Texas Instruments. Power over Ethernet, or PoE, has been powering equipment like voice over IP phones and IP cameras for years. But with a newly ratified, higher power PoE standard, even more applications will soon be drawing power from an Ethernet data line. The original PoE standard allowed for powered devices, also known as PDs, to draw up to 12.95 watts of power. And now high power PDs can draw up to 25.5 watts. No matter how much power your PoE client will draw, it's vital to keep in mind certain design considerations. PoE-enabled Ethernet ports deliver current at a voltage between 36 volts and 57 volts, meaning specific safety standards may apply as you down-convert your voltage to something a digital device can use, like 12 or 5 volts. To maximize integration and efficiency, most of the PD front-end ICs are combo devices, meaning they combine PoE authentication and protection with a DC-to-DC -DC converter to both protect the device and down-convert the voltage with one IC. As you select among compliant PoE PD solutions, we'd advise you to keep in mind three key items. Voltage rating of the device, support for auxiliary voltages, and the efficiency of the power conversion topology supported by the device. First, any device you choose should be rated to 100 volts. To understand why, we need to keep in mind that the PoE voltage is being delivered across up to 100 meters of Ethernet cable as well. Due to the voltages being delivered and the inductive properties of the copper wire, we've detected surges as high as 95 volts at the PDIC, meaning 60 volt or 80 volt rated devices would not survive these spikes. The next thing you'll want to consider is support for auxiliary voltages. Does your device need the capability to operate at a voltage other than the PoE voltage? Perhaps you have a 12 volt auxiliary adapter that is one option your users will have to power the device. If so, check to ensure the DC to DC converter on your combo device can support your additional auxiliary input voltage. Being able to use the same DC to DC converter for your auxiliary input voltage will save you the space and cost of a separate DC to DC converter and many combo devices on the market today cannot support anything lower than around 18 volts, meaning you'd have to use a more expensive auxiliary adapter or design a whole separate power supply for that rail. The final consideration is power supply topology. Due to safety requirements, an isolated flyback topology is the most common power topology used. The efficiency of many flyback designs are only in the 80 to 85% range, however, making this especially difficult for high power PDs. If you're designing a high power PD, you might want to consider a modified flyback topology, like an active clamp forward converter, allowing for efficiencies up to 93%. Taking these factors into account, we'd recommend you start by considering the TPS 23753A for PDs consuming 12.95 watts or less, and the TPS 23756 for PDs consuming up to 25.5 watts. Even if these devices don't meet your needs, please contact your local TI or distribution salesperson to help select a different device. TI has the largest PoE PD portfolio in the industry. <laughs>